Hi, Raphael. Hi. So I'm sorely tempted to just talk hockey, but <laughs> there'll be so many people mad at us. I think we've got to talk about uh, yeah. about your new film. Um, if you if you could, uh, Gura Vanana, your first full English feature length uh, film, give us a sense of what it's about for those who haven't seen it. It's about a teacher falling for his student, but it's more than that. It's uh, it's about a man losing everything at trying to do something good for him, but you know, maybe too, he's too selfish. Uh, it's about Sophie Desmarais, who is, uh, she's amazing on, on screen. She's, uh, she, she plays this young Franco-Québécoise, but studying in English. Had he fallen properly, really in love for the first time in his life. It seemed as though, in a little while, a new and splendid life would begin. So she's trying to, to, to have this, um, this affair in this career in English writing. So it's about two people. Well, she is a writer. In is a so failed writer. My principles to uh, fraternize with the students. It's not a classic midlife crisis film. What, is, what, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, well... Uh, uh, you know, I, I, I like challenges, and uh, that, that was uh, one of them. You know, shooting in Montreal for the first time, shooting in English for the first time, shooting in the wintertime for the first time, shooting a script that I haven't uh, written myself for the first time. So shooting a film about, you know, a teacher falling for, for, for a student was, um, was a challenge as well. Are you still writing about me? It's an affair, but it could be an affair between two people you know, much younger or working somewhere else. So... That was one of the challenges for, for, for me. Tell me a bit also about the language in the film, because it is English, but there's a fair bit of French. I mean, Sophie Desmarais' De character is, of course, a francophone, and she's really switching back and forth, and there's a kind of interesting... It's not bilingual, but there's a co-mixing of yeah. the languages. Were you trying to capture that sort of very Montreal thing? Yes, absolutely. That's the Montreal I, I lived in for a while when I was working at Music Plus or in the Milan. So Sophie, when she's living something very close to her, you know, she she swears in French. She uh, She's angry in French. She's in love in French. She's with her ex-boyfriend in French, you know. But when she's playing a role of the mistress when she's playing a role of the wannabe English writer. She's, you know, speaking in English. So, you know, we think about all of this. I think it makes sense. I think it's the way I, I heard it in the Milan and in, in Montreal, and that's the way I, I, I did it myself, and I still do sometimes. And it's interesting, too, you mentioned Milan, which where much of it is set, yeah. and it really captures a different side of that, too. Were you trying to sort of get a different view of Milan in a way? No, everything was there for us, you know, uh, almost for free. Uh, you know, the scenery, uh, the, the, the little uh, stores, uh, the, 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 you know, second-hand uh, book store, all those things, they, you know, they're there, and uh, the, PA, the PA grocery store. So we, we wanted to have the, a sense of the real Milan. I wanted to have, you know, real people. We wanted to show it for what it is, and I think we, we, we managed to, I think it, we did it well, I think. I think so, too. Thanks a lot, Raphael. Thank you.